G'day, hope you're well. Happy Friday to you. I want to talk about dreams today. When was the last time you sat down and gave yourself some time, gave yourself the opportunity to think about your dreams? We often don't, right? We get so overwhelmed and caught up in everyday life that we forget about what's important to us, the things that lift up us up, the things that provide us passion and energy, the things that we can get excited about. So it's important to dream, important to dream big, audacious, big dreams, all good. Now, not for everyone, of course, but I think dreaming is important. I talk about often this, this uh, morning activity. You can think about this or you can journal about this. And it's just, you know, what's one thing today that can get you really excited? What's one thing you can get excited about? And it doesn't matter what it is, but think about that in the morning. And that just instantly provides you this level of energy and passion, brings back a bit of joy to your day. Even if you've got to go to work and maybe work that you don't really enjoy right now. Thinking about that one thing that you can get excited about does help. And when we think about the bigger picture of our life, it's the same thing when we think about our dreams. Now, we know that the high performers, those mentors, those people that you look up to, that's them. That's what they do. They think about their dreams. And that gives them motivation. That gives them energy to act. That gives them purpose and intent. And when you have purpose and intent... You will live your day, your life more fully and you will find greater meaning in doing so and you will have more joy in life as well. I really believe this. So this is why dreaming is important. Now, it doesn't matter what your dream is and what people might think. All that matters is what you think about your dreams. Now, you can have anything. Sit down today, sit down tonight, sit down over the weekend, get a bit of paper out, get a pen out and think about your dreams again, all right? Don't become complacent with them. I know I've fallen off the track many of times, whether it's pursuing a dream and it's not quite working out and not getting the progress that I like. And today it's so hard, right? We, everyone wants everything right now. Dreams don't have to come right now. They can be a, a lifelong pursuit, if you will. They could be a six-month dream that you can pursue and get and win at. But when you don't quite win or when you're not feeling the progress, you, you sometimes give up on your dreams. But don't give up, right? Don't take that back seat. There's too many of us walking around in this state of fear right now. But instead, we should be walking around looking for the opportunities, looking for our dreams, chasing after those things because that is uplifting. That gives you purpose. So sit down tonight, sit down this weekend, get a bit of pen and paper and write down a bucket list again. What's on your bucket list? What's the first thing you're gonna circle and go after? What is that one thing you've been putting off? Learning, maybe a new skill, an instrument, a sport. Go and take some action towards that. It'll make you feel good. What is that hobby that you wanted to start? You know, mushroom farming or brewing beer, whatever it might be. What is that thing that you've been wanting to start and you just haven't yet? Go out there and get it. What is that new career that you really wanted to pursue? What is stopping you now from making that change to do that? It's complacency. It's falling into conformity. And life becomes monotonous. You don't get that sense of joy. And that's the way I feel a lot of people are. So I think if I can give you one thing today, it's inspiration, encouragement to sit down and go write about your dreams. Think about your dreams. Dream big. Because if you can find those dreams again, connect with those dreams again, you'll find more freedom in your life. You'll find more fulfillment in your life and you'll find more joy. So dream big. Go out there. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.